Page 152, Mental Health. Let me introduce you to the blunt reality of today. Mental illness is extremely common and many people are struggling on a daily basis with depression, anxiety, eating disorders, and more. In fact, approximately one in five youth aged 13 to 18 will experience a severe mental disorder at some point during their life. Additionally, we're coping with the pressures of today's society through dangerous outlets like self-harm, drug and alcohol abuse, and more. Unfortunately, there is a lack of awareness surrounding mental illness. Sadly, in its place is a curtain of shame. And to make matters worse, our extremely rigid male gender roles only encourage the shame. This whole not talking about mental health thing combined with our current male gender roles results in a country where few people with mental illness go through recovery. And when those who are struggling refuse to get help, millions of incredible, capable people fall short of reaching their full potentials. Millions of smart, creative people don't contribute to society to the extent that they could have. With each suicide and each death by anorexia, the world loses someone who could have been a game changer. The world loses someone who could have found the cure to cancer, someone who could have been the next Oprah or Steve Jobs, or someone who could have solved world hunger. When we fail to get help, the world suffers as a natural consequence. Today, I am going to talk to you all about mental illness. I aim to break the silence and shame, and I hope that you will leave a bit more informed than you were before. Furthermore, this is a very basic chapter. I hope you recognize it to be the start of a conversation on mental illness, certainly not the end, as there is much more to be said. That being stated, this is a tough chapter, and if at some points it may be triggering, if you need to take a break, please do. So with that, let's begin.